Hi, this is Kels Sofgowski, and in this video, we're going to look at quick and easy ways to remember the AP Gov foundational documents. Of course, you want to know a lot more than this, but this will give you at least the main idea of each document. So let's get into it. Federals 10 is all about factions. How do we remember that? Well, think about the number 10 that's literally in factions. This is the I, this is the O. So definitely no factions in Federals 10. All right, let's go to Federals 51. Five plus one is six, and that is divisible by three, three branches. All right, so let's go to Federal 70, which is all about the importance of a strong presidency. And if you flip the seven and the zero, like I've done here, here is the face. This is the hair. Some say that this resembles Donald Trump's hair, however you want to think of it. Some even say, think about a strong executive winning seven to zero in a sports game. But again, it's all about a strong presidency. Let's go to Federal 78, 78 nine and there are nine justices on the supreme court and we know that that is all about the supreme court all right let's get into brutus one which despises having a large republic and it wants a small intimate democracy and it is brutal to any discussion about a federal government so remember that all the brutus wants to hold all the power in the hands of states or a smaller republic so brutal all right and then the articles of confederation think about the word confederation con against against the federal government right all the power was in the hands of the state all right letter from a birmingham jail all you really have to focus here is on the word jail right mlk is literally writing this from a jail in Birmingham, and this is all about civil disobedience. So again, pay attention to the language of the document. And then the U.S. Constitution. You should know that that's what we have today, but if you forgot, think about that the U.S. constitutes uh, the rules we have today in our Constitution, all right? So think about the seven articles there. And then last but not least, the Declaration of Independence. We are now independent of Britain. Think about the importance of popular sovereignty, sovereignty making your own decisions.